Okay, what's up everyone? I have these two Lenovo Think Centers here with me. Yeah, they are working fine. Like really fine. They are quite five eight generation. Yeah, and uh, the problem is that this one over here was not uh, is not detecting the fan. It keeps saying CPU fan error. Yet the CPU will be running at maximum speed. So yeah, I tried to reprogram the BIOS as you can see, or oh, and to even copy the BIOS from this one. Still, it uh, it keeps going at maximum speed. So the only thing which I managed to notice was is that on the four pin connector, yeah, the first pin, that one. On this one which is working fine it's giving me up roughly one volt next one five volts next one 12 volts and then the fourth is ground whereas on this one that one which gives us one volt is giving us two point something volts the next one is still five volts the next one is still 12 volts and the next and the last one ground so trying to actually fix the 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 two volts coming from the first pin yeah, well, it's kind of a lot needs someone who is uh, who has time and the likes of which I don't have time this guy just wants the PC to work fine without making noise because it's already working fine you can put into the OS but it's making a lot of noise and then the other thing he also wanted Wi-Fi yeah he wanted these things to support Wi-Fi so already I've tested this one I just took a Wi-Fi card from a laptop uh, and I added a, a wire over there like as you can see I only put main I didn't even put box yeah and that's the antenna over there it's catching the Wi-Fi really good like I'm in a three-story building at the top and it's uh, and it's uh, detecting the Wi-Fi at the bottom like on the ground floor with uh, I think it's it's, already, uh, it's, only, it's only missing one part anyways let's plug in this one so to solve the the fan issue I disconnected the 12 volts from like the official source I don't know if I, it's, it's even the right term to say official source so after disconnecting it from that uh, 12 volt source over there I then connected it using this blue wire you can see to a 5 volt trail which is coming from this USB port so I actually also tried the USB port to make sure that it's still working and of which it's working because it's powering my RGB keyboard there. Yeah, it's not on yet. The laptop kind of takes time to to put. As you can see, I've already powered it on, but it's taking time to even like just to post actually, not even to put because put has now operating system. And as yeah, now it has posted. So we come to the monitor. I change input to the VGA. Yeah, there we have American Maker Trends, and there we have CPU fan failure. That's the problem we are having. So as you can see, the BIOS is now the uh, 27 December 2021. Yeah, they released this BIOS actually on the on the 9th of February. Then. Yeah, that's the official BIOS from Lenovo. Still, the laptop doesn't. Uh, detect the fan so this is a hardware issue it's not a BIOS failure I already know about yours but mine it's a, it's a hardware issue I even tried to swap this because this is the original fan which was here and this is the fan which was on this one still the same result still the same result so it has to do with the motherboard anyways now the fan is running at a pretty good uh, speed and I even tested to see if the CPU put uh, thermal, thermal throttle or something like that and it's not so I am going to continue into Windows now so you see I'm using this keyboard and the RGB is on yet the fan is also on and the keyboard is still working it doesn't affect it so yeah this could be one way you can solve this issue so now I'm only going to test the Wi-Fi card because on this one I haven't tested the Wi-Fi card yet if it works then uh, we are good to go because uh, the guy just wants to add value onto his uh, onto this uh, what you call them these miniature desktops 
<coughs> yeah, they're pretty good because if you take a look at the fan, you've got your aux cable, like your, your mic input, power button mic input, uh, some LEDs over there. Let me use this one, which is actually on. So we have power button, some LEDs there for power, hard drive. Then we have a uh, mic input, we have your headset jack, we have USB C super speed. Yeah, it's super speed. Then we have got uh, USB 3 super speed as well. I think it's USB 3 super speed. Let me check on the case. Yeah, it's uh, USB super speed. Yeah. Then that's it. And then at the back, at the back we have got. Uh, that's why it's actually interesting for me. Because there we have got uh, Ethernet, we have got uh, two USB 3 ports. Are they super speed? They're just USB 3 uh, ports. Then we have, I don't know what that 10 stands for though. I have no idea what it stands for. Anyways, next we have got another USB port and then an HDMI cap uh, display port. We have got HDMI port, VGA port. We have got another USB super speed. Then we've got uh, display port and the uh, power input. So in total, there's like one, two, three, four, five USB, like your standard USB ports, plus a uh, USB C. That's a lot. Anyways, let's check to see if the Wi-Fi responded. So I am gonna go over there. Let's see if oh it did. So as you can see, that one uh, Scrummy is mine. That's mine now. Uh, I don't know what has happened to that other one, but on this one I could actually take it. Anyways, uh it says it's catch it's managing to capture my Wi-Fi like that. I will, I'm going to suspect the antenna is not okay because my Wi-Fi is actually over there. That big white thingy there. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised that it to get a good signal like that. Let me change this to another one to another if it doesn't work then i have to actually change the entire ant antenna there so let's hope the signal does pick up if it doesn't then this antenna isn't working fine because this this one was pretty simple like it's wide and, and the lights whereas this one it's really small it's really small so it's pretty much that Although I don't, I don't really understand what's going on because like it's basically a wire which is going around and then coming back. Yet these uh, terminals connect like that. Yeah, in the same same principle with this one as well. Like got your positive over there, your positive over there, and then you've got your ground. Yet this comes all the way around to that. Yeah, on this one the signal is really good because that that Wi-Fi the third one getting it with only one bar missing yet it's on on the ground floor and i'm on the third floor and not even like directly above it there's some real distance to this to to get there so let's see if this does uh, improve the signal in any way yeah now the signal is fine so it was an antenna issue there. Now I'm actually getting Oppo and Williams, which I wasn't getting on the other one. But nonetheless, that one which is on the ground floor is now missing two bars. Yeah, two bars. Whereas in this one, it was only missing one bar. Anyways, yeah, that's it. So for the fan speed, because it was making a lot of noise. If I plug it in, it makes a lot of noise. It's even louder than all my fans. Because in this room, I basically have got that fan, the fan behind that monitor, fan on that monitor, fan in that monitor, two fans in that amp, fan in the bottom amp, four fans on this laptop, a fan behind that monitor. That's a lot of fans. And another one actually down there as well. Yet it was louder than all of them. You could clearly hear that something has been added. Yeah, so you can hear it. It's, it's pretty loud at the moment, but it's way better like honestly it's way better i think i should have recorded before anyways yeah this could solve your issue for the fan you while you are still working on a, on a proper way 
as for uh, Wi-Fi yeah it's good that they actually come with that slot where you can just plug in a, a Wi-Fi card I actually want to see because these are eight generations I want to see this one because I have he also brought this it's a sixth generation so let's see if it does support uh, the Ethernet, it, uh, the Wi-Fi editing port or whatever. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. I hope you guys make some suggestions on the on the comment section on, on how to actually solve that fan error issue. The only other thing left for me to do is to disable that notification. Just give me a minute. I wanna. I want to slide this open. Yeah, there we go. It's open, so I'm gonna. Okay, I'm trying to find some good songs by Edry. So this is the sixth generation and yeah it does have the same port although the BIOS is a little bit different this one has got only one BIOS chip whereas this one has got two so I believe the other one is the backup yeah so yeah you could do that you could if, if you don't have like two of them I'm sure you can copy from BIOS 2 because that's BIOS 2 there I think you can see it over there. J is it J BIOS 2 or it's just BIOS 2? Whereas this one is uh, J BIOS 1. You can see the statement over there. Yeah, so you can just copy from BIOS 2 to BIOS 1. But first make a backup. So that in case you actually deleted the backup and was left with, uh, with the useless one which is already corrupt. And is, yeah, the, the, they are pretty much the same. Other than that, yeah. So this one has got two USB standards in front. There's no USB-C. Everything else is pretty much the same. At the back, we don't have USB 3. We just have three ports of USB super speed. Ethernet over there, VGA over there, display port, HDMI, and USB. Okay, I totally forgot you wanted me to fix that USB port. I probably won't have to make a video for that. I don't think I should make a video for that. I'm sure everyone knows how to fix a USB port. Yeah, I am pretty sure everyone does. Anyways, yeah, that's it, guys. I think the rest is now just uh, nonsense and the likes. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that, that's how you would solve your, your problems and your issues. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you gained some knowledge and learned something. See you in another one.